Do you remember the 1997 UK hit, History Repeating, by the Propeller Heads and featuring Shirley Bassey? It's a catchy tune, and it immediately came to my mind while I was listening to this next audiobook because it reminded me more than ever that our current COVID predicament is all just a little bit of history repeating. Welcome to Audiobook Reviews in 5. This is Jana, also known as Yana, and today I'm reviewing Pale Rider, The Spanish Flu of 1918 and How It Changed the World by Laura Spinney and narrated by Paul Hodgson. Laura Spinney is a British science journalist, novelist, and nonfiction writer, and she's been reporting on the coronavirus pandemic for the last few months with The Guardian. But this audiobook was published in 2017, which makes her writing seem all the more prescient. Although, of course, that's all in my interpretation, too. Several books I reviewed that investigated the 1918 flu pandemic focused almost exclusively on North America and Europe and the pandemic's connection to the events of the First World War. I wanted to better understand how the rest of the world experienced the pandemic, and Spinney delivers. Although records from the time vary in availability and detail, Spinney manages to cover relevant and fascinating content that includes Alaska, Brazil, India, Persia, Spain, South Africa, and the port city of Odessa in Ukraine. Her inclusion of American data from the time underscores the disproportionate mortality and impact to vulnerable immigrants and indigenous populations. This eerily aligns to our current experience of COVID when you consider that in May of 2020, the Navajo Nation surpassed New York State for the highest infection rate in that country. Even though she jumps between times and locations, Spinney's storytelling and line of inquiry is easy to follow and fascinating, albeit shockingly recent, considering we're talking about events that took place over 100 years ago and claim more lives than any other event in the century, even by conservative estimates. Spinney explains the scientific history and challenges succinctly and clearly. If you want a deep dive on those details, I encourage you to check out John Barry's book, The Great Influenza, which I reviewed not long ago. I was repeatedly bowled over by how similar our current public response to COVID echoes that of governments and media more than 100 years ago. For example, in Rio, the flu was called the killer of old people, and government was accused of attempting to install a scientific dictatorship that would violate people's civil rights. The reverberations of the past don't end there. You may remember in March of 2020, Donald Trump claimed he didn't know that people could die from the flu, but in fact, records show his German immigrant grandfather died in the first wave of the pandemic in May of 1918. Spinney highlights that the family got their wealthy start from an insurance policy, as an interesting aside. Some of the criticism leveled at this book relates to the accuracy of mortality rates, but Spinney acknowledges this variability throughout her book, and the disparity of record-keeping from major populations from China, India, and Russia make it unlikely that we'll ever attain more accurate counts. Again, a detail that aligns, however unfortunately, with today's uneven COVID stats. I wasn't the biggest fan of Paul Hodgson's British narration, which seemed too prim and proper for the dynamic expanse of cultures and history that Spinney covers. So the format isn't especially notable, especially since audiobooks don't include photos from the time. Ultimately, this is an excellent listen or read for anyone interested in understanding the bigger picture of how public health impacts nearly everything, everywhere. So if you're not yet exhausted by pandemic-related reading or listening, I highly recommend this title. That's all for this episode of Audiobook Reviews in 5. Thanks for listening. If you've not yet done so, please subscribe to Audiobook Reviews in 5 on your favorite platform. By subscribing, you help increase the profile of this podcast and chances of other listeners finding it. 
I look forward to checking in with you all again soon. Please stay safe and be well.